reading and you'll hear it. It's coming from the 34th uh, Psalms. Hallelujah. We praise God for the word of God. For it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. The word of God is already blessed. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made.
Bible study is at 7 p.m. on Wednesday via Zoom, and prayer is at 6 p.m. on Fridays via Zoom. And continue to pray for those on the prayer request and our thought for today. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 21. Amen. Come and let us worship.
1 Peter chapter 2. This is on verse 1 and 2. Praise God. 1 Peter chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. Listen, it says, Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Hallelujah. Amen. And for a thought on today, amen. It tell your neighbor, just say it's back to basics. Hallelujah. Back to basics. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, bless God for his goodness. Amen. I've been through the fire. And I've been through the flood, been broken in pieces, and left all alone. Oh, but through it all, God bless me. Through it all, God has kept me, and I still have my prayer. Hallelujah. 
There are five basic things are required. Uh huh. If one is to live a faithful, fruitful, fitting, focused, uh huh, and fulfilling Christian life. Hallelujah. Number one, the Word of God. Praise God. The Christian must faithfully feast upon it. Partaker, huh? Uh, partake of it as a baby who partakes of milk. Uh-huh. Amen. You got the hunger, you got the thirst after the word of God, after righteousness, making sure you are in the word, that you are standing on the scripture. You are doing what the word of God says. You can't teach or preach and tell nobody about Jesus if you ain't doing it. Huh? You got to be a partaker of it as a baby desires that milk. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And how do we respond uh, to eternal word of God? Just as it says in 1 Peter 2, 1 to 3, where it says, therefore laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, hallelujah, all evil speaking, praise the Lord, uh-huh, as newborn babes desire pure milk, some translation says desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Uh -huh. The baby grows from the milk, amen, from being nourished. Your spiritual man grows, huh, by the word of God, by doing the word, by reading the word, by meditating on the word. You will grow, amen, and you will be, have that spiritual maturity that you can stand in the evil day. And if, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, hallelujah. In chapter 1, Peter has uh, demonstrated the glory and eternal character of God's word. 1 Peter 1, 25, listen what it said. It said, but the word of, of the Lord endures forever. Uh -huh. Now, this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Amen. The word of God, the good news, is to tell you and inspire you to live according to the word of God. But we have fallen short. We have lowered the standard of holy living. Hallelujah. Holiness is the highest standard of living. Praise God. And it's not a denomination. It's a divine requirement that God requires that if you want to be holy, if you want to be able to see him in peace, you're going to have to go back to the basics and do exactly what the word requires. Uh -huh. And it says now come the therefore in, in, in chapter 2 verse 1. A newborn babe desires the pure milk of the word. Desire is a strong word. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a strong word. And, it, and it, it, it says in the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the word desire is used for man's deepest longing for God. Hallelujah. Amen. In Psalm 42 and 1, it says, As the deer pants for the water's brook, Hallelujah. So pant my soul uh, for you, O oh God. Amen. Babies, babies desire a healthy new uh, uh, baby has that in, intensive uh, yearning uh -huh, for the mother's milk. Amen. And they'll cry and cry and be irritated if they don't get mama's milk. Uh, you can't give a Pepsi. You can't put uh, some orange juice. No, the baby wants that milk. And you as a child of God, your spiritual man, desire the sincere as that baby wants the milk. You've got to desire the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when things are right, you don't have to tell it 
to uh, want to milk, uh, that you may grow thereby. Hallelujah. The, the word of God is necessary uh -huh, for the growth of the Christian life. Hallelujah. It's imperative. It's important. Church, saints, wherever you are, you need to be in that word. You need to be in that word. You need to be eating that word. You need to be meditating on that word like that baby desired the sincere milk uh, of the mother. Hallelujah. We grow by listening to the word. Uh-huh. We must uh, receive it with a certain attitude of heart. Praise God. Laying aside all malice, guile, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking. Got to lay all that aside. This is a humble, honest heart, willing to do what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Got to be obedient to the word. If the word said don't do it, you must not do it. I don't care who is encouraging you. I, I don't care what's going on. You have to desire the word in order to grow spiritually thereby. Uh -huh. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, if we have received from God, uh, if, uh, if we have tasted uh, personally the experience that the Lord is gracious, then we have all uh -huh, the more reason and responsibility to receive the word in the enthusiastic way that babes receive their milk. Uh, when that baby get that bottle or get that milk or get to mama, they don't be messing around. They don't be talking and saying high five me. No, they want that milk. They want it. You've got to be very enthusiastic about getting it. Huh? I want to always be in church. I don't want to let nothing interfere with me coming and being before the Lord to hear the word of God. Because I want to grow. I want to be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are spiritually not strong, if you are not getting the basic word of God, you need to go back to basic. So when the enemy comes, amen, you are able to defeat him. Amen. You will not be able to be willing to throw in the towel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The second basic requirement here is, secondly, is the word of God. Uh-huh. Living in a fast lane makes it easy to forget uh -huh, the worship of God. Hallelujah. you got to be faithful. You've got to be committed to the Lord. Hallelujah. And God himself says in Psalm 46 and 10, listen, he said, be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. Look at that. I will be exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Be still and know that I am God. Praise God. The idea here is not that the, the faithful reader should stop it at, at any time and all activity can stop and stand in one place. No, no, no. It's saying here, the sense here is that the that argument and uh, opposition against God should stop and be still. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You need to be still. You need to listen to the voice of the Lord and be followed by his precepts and his examples. Hallelujah. And, it, and, and, the, and thirdly, it says God will, huh? Uh, the, the, the will of God. This is your third uh, 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 requirement. Praise God. The will of God. Every Christian can find, huh? Follow and finish the will of God. Praise God. God will what? For the Christian is not optional. Bad to the basics is found here in Proverbs 3, amen, 5 through 7. For listen to what it says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, hallelujah, and he shall direct thy path. 
Praise God. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Hallelujah. And depart from evil. Thank you, Jesus. You, 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 you got to do what the word says. You got to depart from evil. You cannot be caught up in the world. You can't live this fast life. You can't be out there trying to do what the world do and then trying to do what the word of God said do. Hallelujah. We got to go back to the basics. We got to go back to what the word requires of you and for me. Hallelujah. And fourth uh, basic requirement. Hallelujah. The fourth basic requirement is the work of God. Huh? The work of God. Praise the Lord. Working in God's field requires patience. Uh-huh. Perseverance. And prayer. Amen. I don't know how you fare it. If you have a relationship or you claim to have a relationship or you are testifying that you are say that you are blessed and highly favored and you don't have a prayer life. I don't understand how one can feel that they have the strength to defeat the enemy huh? and they don't pray. Listen, it takes patience, it takes perseverance, and it takes prayer. Amen. To be able to build yourself up and your spiritual growth. Amen. And maturity will be where it should be. As that babe desired the sincere milk of the word, or that deer panting that the waters brook, you've got to want the word of God. You've got to put yourself in a position where you can receive what God says and that you can apply it so you can be a blessing to somebody else. Hallelujah. And it says there in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Amen. In light of our future resurrection, we should stand fast for the Lord right now. Hallelujah. And that 15, 58 in 1 Corinthians says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Huh? you got to be steadfast, unmovable. You can't be wishy-washy. One minute you in, one minute you out, one minute you testifying in the attic, and the next minute you living in the basement. You all upset. You always got a problem, and, but yet still you claiming that God's under control. You've got to have that mind made up. You've got to be settled in the word of God. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Knowing that your labor uh, is not in vain. What you do for Christ is not in vain. God sees it. He knows it. You will be rewarded for your service. Huh? Don't be waiting for folk to give you something. Don't be standing around waiting for pats on the back and get a data boy. Huh? Some folk won't do nothing for the Lord unless you pay them. Hallelujah. But your reward, you want it from the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. We need to go back to basic. I'm doing what God gave me to do. Why should I charge you to you to give God bless me with, huh? And I gotta charge you, gotta charge you for me to use it so you can be blessed. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I tell you, we we have strayed away from the basics of God. Hallelujah. Because we know death is defeated and we have an eternal resurrected destiny with Jesus Christ. We stand firm. Oh, bless God. And unshakable. All the more for him right now. Hallelujah. We should work hard in everything. In every, right now, we should be working hard. Huh? Working for the Lord because right now counts forever. Praise the Lord. Even if your labor is vain to everyone else. Hallelujah. And everyone else discount or uh, and they, they doesn't appreciate they don't appreciate what you do for the Lord uh huh your labor is not in vain in the Lord I don't care what other folk think I don't care what other people try to say you too fanatic or you overboard or you done gone too out of her yes I'm an addict for the Lord hallelujah I want, I want him every day 
I want to be able to please God. I want what I do, I want what I say, how I live, I want God to be pleased with it. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter if you get the praise or the encouragement. Sometimes you will, uh huh, and sometimes you won't get it. Praise the Lord. And But we're not serving God to please man. We're not serving God to get the favor of man. Hallelujah. This should make us steadfast and movable. Always abounding in the works of the Lord. Amen. What I'm doing, I want God to be pleased with it. I'm not doing it for trying to get fame and, and, and for a position or to be elevated here and to be elevated there and for folk to have to say something nice about me. No, what I do, I'm doing it unto the Lord. Amen. I want God to be pleased with my service. Amen. We don't need to waver. We don't need to change direction. We don't need to fall. Hallelujah. We don't need to quit. Amen. You don't need to be talking one minute ready to throw in the towel. Amen. Because things didn't go the way you thought it should have went. Hebrews 6 and 10. It states, for God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name. Hallelujah. Look at that. In that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Listen, you are being blessed so that you can be a blessing. Hallelujah. And God blesses you and he allows you to serve him. You should be wanting to serve others. Amen. Not sit back and thinking, well, uh, I, I, I should be just recognized. No, you have gotten from the basics of what God requires of you. Hallelujah. He even tell you to rejoice with them that rejoice. Don't be hating. Don't be coming up with all this looking that they think they something. Oh, my goodness. God blesses them. God blesses you for you to be a blessing to someone else. Hallelujah. Listen. And, this, uh, and then the fifth and final basic requirement. If one, if one is to live a faithful, look at that, fruitful, fitting, uh -huh, focused, and fulfilling Christian life is the fifth and final, is the, the walk with God. Hallelujah. Amen. You've got to have a walk with God, a Christian relationship with God is compared to a walk. Hallelujah. Now, uh -huh, Genesis 5 and 24, it says, Had ye not walked with God? Look at that. And he was what? Not. For God took him. Amen. Amen. God took him. He not walked with God so much, uh huh, so that he was carried away. Amen. To God in a miraculous miraculous way. Praise God. Walking with God. Uh-huh. What it means, hallelujah, walking by faith. In 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. Secondly, uh, walking in, in the light. In 1 John 5 and through 7. Amen. It says, for this is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness uh, at all. Praise the Lord. You tell your neighbor at all. There ain't no darkness in God. Huh? If you, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Amen. You ain't nothing but a liar. You lie like that rug on the floor. Amen. If you say you uh, that you are walking with Christ and you living in darkness, other words, you are committing sin. Hallelujah. Amen. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have what fellowship with one another. Hallelujah. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. You got to get in the light to get clean. You got to be in the light to see where to clean. Hallelujah. If you in the dark, you can't clean nothing and do a good job when you in the dark trying to clean. 
Huh? I don't know if anybody has been very effective cleaning the house when it's completely dark. Huh? Oh, I want you to wash the dishes. I can't wash them unless it's dark. Ah, uh, come on here. Uh, you, you can't be effective. If you say you are a child of God and you're living in darkness, the Bible says you are lying. Hallelujah. And the truth ain't in you. Praise God. Amen. And by faith. Uh-huh. And it says here, amen, walking in agreement with God. Hebrews 11 and 5 tells us the foundation of Enoch's walk with God. For it said by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. Look at that. You don't have to see death. Oh, and it was not found because God had taken him for because before he was taken, he had this testimony. You got to have a testimony that he pleased God. I want God to be pleased with my service. You want God to be pleased with what you do for him. Amen. And by him, there, after uh, Enoch had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen. Here, here after walking like uh, this with God. Uh -huh. It is as if one day Enoch was deciding to go home. And the Lord had to say, where are you going, brother? He says, I'm going home. Uh huh. But the Lord had told him, no, won't you go home with me? Praise God. He did have to do a bow face. Amen. Because of his life. As he was living for God, he robbed the, the undertaker of working on that body. And by him walking by faith and obedience to the word of God. He took the opportunity for the grave of diggers. Couldn't even dig the grave to put him in. By walking and by living for God, the enemy and anything that comes up against you, it will not be effective. Why? It's because you are in the hands of the Lord. We got to get back to the basics, folks. Well, for folk to be delivered. People can't get delivered uh, and if we're not going according to the word of God. You cannot get set free. You cannot be blessed if you don't come convicted. The word of God will convict you. The word of God will make you give yourself a new look on life. It will cause you to say yes, that I'm going to serve God. Just as he not walked so, he walked away, he talked away, he did what was required, he didn't try to please nobody but God, and he had a testimony that he pleased God so that when it was time, before his time to, to die, the Lord just said, I want you just like that. Hallelujah. And he just walked on out and was up, went with God into heaven. And I believe you want that opportunity today. We need to get back to basics. We need to get back to the word of God. So we can worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for his word today. Hallelujah. We thank God for the opportunity. Amen. Amen. To please and for the Lord to be pleased with us. Amen. It is utmost requirement, utmost need to have our lives to live and God will be pleased with what you do. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to pray for those that want to receive the Lord. And if you uh, are touched and you have heard this word, I believe that uh, you can go to the comment section. Amen. And put your name there. Hallelujah. Amen. And your contact number. Amen. And your desire. We want to pray for you right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you see the servants wherever they are streaming around this country have come to the conclusion that they want to get back to basics. They want to change the way they are living. They want you to be pleased with their life. We are praying favor upon them right now. Forgive them for their sins. Huh? Blot out their transgressions. Wash them thoroughly from thy iniquity. And you created them a clean heart and renew your right spirit within them. And we ask this in our matchless name of Jesus Christ. Thank God. Amen. I want you to stay encouraged. And if you do.
do. Amen. And amen. And also, we are thankful for those that desire might want to be a member of the church. If you wanted to be under this fellowship, amen. Be a part of this ministry. Amen. The Amma Valley family, we are honored to love and to bring you in and be a part of us. Amen. And that also can be done on the comment. Amen. With your name and your uh, number and your request. Amen. And we will honor it. And we will definitely follow up with you. God bless you and we appreciate you. And I'm so thankful, First Lady Odds and myself. We pray daily, constantly for you to be blessed. For those who are giving their contributions financially to this ministry, I want you to know the Lord has already approved it. And he has already told us, hallelujah, that you will not go back. The Lord will give you the desires of your heart. He will bless you for your gift of love. And we appreciate everything you do. And the, 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 the dollar amount does not matter. Hallelujah. Whatever you do for the Lord, you give him God your best gift. The Lord will honor and he will appreciate what you have done. We thank you for it. We also have available on Cash App as well as Giveify. Amen. And we are thankful that you are taking advantage of those vehicles of giving you gifts of love. Hallelujah. And we appreciate you. Hallelujah. And thank you. Praise God. Father God, we ask the favor now open your service. And we move forward throughout this week. Remember those on our prayer requests. Remember those who are the hills who are affected by the fire. We are praying now in favor that you would touch, heal, and deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God. Amen. But whatever you do, don't lose your prayers.